It's time to cook with Susan Beck. I'm so excited today to be sharing with you one of my very, very favorite recipes. Today I'm going to be making chicken and dressing. It's a family favorite as well as a company favorite. Anytime we have guests, this is a menu that is always a hit. This recipe will require three to four chicken breast, a can of cream of chicken soup, some stuffing from a box mix, one stick of margarine, and Swiss cheese. I will be using two tablespoons of my stick of butter, butter or margarine, either one is fine, whichever you prefer. And I will put two tablespoons into my glass baking dish. I find it's easiest just to melt this directly into the glass dish. So I'm gonna put this into a 300 degree oven, which is the temperature that this chicken and dressing recipe will cook at. I just removed my butter that has melted in my glass pan from the oven and I am ready to put my other ingredients into there. Normally, when I'm making this just without filming a video, I would immediately get my butter or margarine into the oven and melting and then start getting my other ingredients out to work with. But today I'm a little more organized. So I have three large chicken breast here sitting on a marble cutting board. It's a little better for preventing um, salmonella and things that you can get from chicken. You always want to use a separate knife for your chicken than you do for your margarine and your cheeses. I am going to cut these breasts. I think they're plenty big for two people to share. So I'm going to cut each of them in half. And place them into my glass dish. They're all pretty similar in thickness, which is also something to consider when making chicken so that everything cooks at the same time. If you wanted, you could cut these into thinner pieces as well, but I'm just making one per person today. I'm going to leave them nice and thick. All right, since I handled some raw chicken, it's time for me to wash my hands up. All right, onto this chicken, we will be placing the Swiss cheese. Now, some people say they don't really care for Swiss cheese. But I think in this dish you will really like it. My children always say it's not their favorite, but they never even notice that it's Swiss. But if that seems to be something that you'd like to trade out, using some provolone or mozzarella would work just fine. So I'm going to place two slices on each chicken breast. All right, I've melted the rest of that stick of butter. The cheese is laying on top of each chicken breast. It's time to add the layers to this. So onto my cheese goes cream of chicken soup, followed by the stovetop stuffing, or in my case, I'm not even using a name brand, but any kind that you would like to buy. I do like the ones that have a seasoning added to them, some little herbs and um, flavors here. This one happens to be one specifically for chicken. So that is going to be put on the top. Now this recipe called for half a box, but in my family, the stuffing is the best part, whether it's Thanksgiving dinner or this chicken and dressing casserole. So I'm using all of the stuffing. The last task is to drizzle the melted butter on top. And we are set. This will go into the oven at 300 degrees for one and a half hours. This should be baked uncovered. All right, so we're ready for the dinner party. We've got the roasted sweet potatoes, the cranberry fluff salad, some broccoli crescent rolls, and the baked chicken and dressing casserole that we made today. All right, it's time to give this meal a taste, especially that chicken. Mm, I love the crunch of the dressing and the buttery flavor. And my favorite part is that Swiss cheese. You'll have to give this a try at your next dinner party.